welcome back. So today is a super fun video because I am using one brand of makeup from the drugstore, so very affordable. So if you're curious to see what products I use to create this look, then let's get into it. So it feels like such a, a long time since I've done like a one brand uh, makeup tutorial. So I wanted to do Maybelline today because I do have a few new Maybelline products that I wanted to try out. So we'll just go ahead and get started. At first, I've been looking at my hair here and let's get that put out of the way. So, all right, that's much better. So first I always go in and do my brows first. It's just a habit with me. I, I like to do my brows and it just kind of gives my face a different uh, look after I do them. So no surprise if you're familiar with my channel, I'm going in with the Maybelline the Brow Ultra Slim and I have this in the shade Medium Brown. So I just quickly first run the spoolie through them and then I just start usually at the front and draw my line underneath and kind of take it right down to the to the tail but I try not to bring it down so that it, it's going to make my eye look a bit droopy if I bring the line straight down. So I usually just try and feather it out. So I just did this one side and you can see how it just looks more full after I do uh, my brows. So that's why I always start off with my brows. All right, brows are all done now. So the first product that I'm going to go in with that is new that I saw in the drugstore was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1. It's a whipped matte makeup. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is a glow version of this as well, but I don't think we have it here in Canada yet. I just saw this one here. So I was a little bit on the fence about this one just because having dry skin, I don't usually like to put matte uh, products on my face, but it sounded interesting. It says it blurs pores, mattifies, conceals blemishes, even skin tone with light coverage. Uh, you just apply it with your fingers all over your face and it blends into your skin tone. So it says that it's supposed to be a primer, concealer, a mattifying powder, and a BB cream all in one. So I thought, okay, that's a lot of claims for <laughs> one little product. But I thought, okay, well, let's give it a try. Apparently it comes in uh, like six shades. I picked the lightest one. So this is 01 light, but it comes in just like a tube. Now I do have a foundation on standby in case I don't like the way this looks. I have the Maybelline the Dream Radiant Liquid on standby. I love this is like one of my favorite uh, drugstore foundations but like I said we'll give this one a try first see how it looks. So there's like a tamper resistant thing on there. So I honestly don't know what to make of this but I'm gonna hopefully oh it's like a like a mousse. That's very interesting. Very cool. So it's like a, a whipped, just like they say, a whipped formula. Okay, so I'm glad I went with that shade. Oh, that's that feels really nice. Doesn't have like a scent to it. So this feels like really silky on my face. Wow, that that feels really nice. So I think what I'll do is I'll when I get it all blended in, I will let it sit, see what it does, how it looks. I can always apply the foundation after I get some of my other products going here, but that feels really nice. This would be uh, like really good on a, if you want one of those, you know, no makeup makeup days. I mean, definitely does not have any sort of coverage really to it, but it has, done what it said, it has blurred some of my pores in here. I'm gonna say it's kind of, it's, it's kind of interesting. It really has blurred some of these pores in here. Now I'm not going to use it as a concealer because obviously because I have such dark uh, under eye circles uh, that it's not going to do anything for that. So I am going to use a different concealer. Yeah, that, that's nice. It feels really soft on the skin. All right, so while I'm letting that sit and do its thing, I mean, it definitely did even out my skin tone and it did blue, like do some blurring of my pores. The only thing that I can see is, I'll come a little bit closer here. On the side of my nose here, I do have a little bit of dryness and it just seems to be clinging to all of that dryness that I have on the side of my nose. But other than that, it did blend in everywhere else on my face. So what we're going to go in with now is concealer. So I don't have the a Maybelline Age Rewind, which I'll put a picture of it over here. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer, 
but what I do have is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage uh, Concealer. Now the only thing about this one that I find is it can be a little bit drying. So if you have very dry under eyes, I would suggest priming first under your eyes. Uh, otherwise it, I find it just really settles into all of my fine lines under there and can sometimes look a little bit cakey if, I, if I'm not careful. So what I did was I went in with the Maybelline Master Prime. This is such a great, great uh, primer to put under your eyes. It's a very uh, creamy lotion type of primer. Looks like that. And like I said, it just it's almost like a like a lotion. So I really like this one. Uh, it works really well under my eyes. So I did go ahead, put that under my eyes. And I already did have eye cream on as well. So now we'll just go in with the concealer. And this one is just a normal little uh, wand. And I have this one in the shade light. And I put very, very little of this on the darkness because it is very full coverage. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques Concealer Brush to blend that all in. Like I said, you don't need a lot of this one. Now I did go ahead and I just used that uh, concealer just to prime my eyes. I don't have any sort of like Maybelline eye primer, so I just went ahead and used that. Uh, but I do like the coverage that this concealer gives me. And I find this one actually surprisingly uh, doesn't give me a lot of creasing under my eyes, which is nice. Uh, but it does really stick and it lasts for quite a while throughout the day. But like I said, the only downfall, and I can kind of see even now, even with me priming under my eyes, I can just see a little bit of my fine lines kind of creeping in there, but that's okay. It's, it's a good concealer other than that. So next we're gonna go in and with my favorite eyeshadow palette from Maybelline, and you'll see that it's a very well used one. <laughs> it's the Nudes of New York. If you're looking for a great everyday eyeshadow palette, this is such a fantastic one. It gives a nice shade range if you really like those uh, like nude shades. All the shade, like what I like about this is you can create so many different looks. They give you a range of some, some shimmers, some mattes, which I really like, and just very, very uh, versatile. I like how the, on this uh, palette, they actually give you the names on the palette. So we're gonna go in with this one right here, and it's called Creator. It's just a really nice light brown, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade, but I don't get a lot of fallout from this palette, which is nice, for especially for a drugstore. I've had some not great ones, from the drugstore I find they can be really powdery and I just take that all over my lid I go right up to my brow bone all right so we're next going to go in with this really rich uh, dark brown shade right here it's called self starter and I'm going to use that in my crease and I'm just going to place it right on my kind of where my like my bone is right here on my eye socket but see how that's just deepening up the crease a little bit so that's kind of what I'm looking for. I don't want it to be making my eye, like drawing my eye down. I still want to have a bit of a lifting effect on my eye. So next I'm gonna go in with this one right here. That's called Globe Trotter, And it's like a really rich uh, burgundy. And I wanna put that right on the outer part of my V. And I'm just gonna concentrate it right on the end here. And then next we're gonna take this shimmer sh we're going to take this shimmer shade right here it's called dreamer and i'm going to use my finger to apply it it's like a almost like a gold a gold shimmer I'm going to put that right in the inner part of my eye right to about halfway on my lid oh that's very very pretty so it just kind of livens up the eye a little bit okay so i think i'm going to leave the eyes as is right now. I've been kind of watching my face to see how that uh, foundation's uh, looking on it. I am going to go in with that other foundation, but I wanted to give you just a close-up look of what it looks like before I went ahead and did that. So you can see it, it, I mean, it has evened out my skin tone definitely, and it did blur where I have my biggest pores is just in this area here. So it has blurred those. But the actual coverage is very, very, very light, which I was I was anticipating that anyhow, just because of the claims on the product. So I wanna have a little bit more coverage today. So we're gonna go in, like I said, the Dream Radiant Liquid. 
This is such a great, great foundation. It comes with uh, like a pump. I've had it on my channel several, several times. And I have this one in the shade. This is 20, a classic ivory. But that did give me a nice, uh, like a is like a nice primer kind of feel to it. So the, I'll, I what I'll probably do is on the days that uh, if I do want to use it, I'll just use it as a primer because I'm running out and doing a bunch of errands today. So I just want a little bit more coverage. One thing I find about Maybelline is they don't have like a a crazy amount of foundations. I'm usually like choosing L'Oreal. But this one does give me that kind of radiance blends in so beautifully like right now you can even with that that mattifying uh, primer underneath you can kind of see i'm still it's giving me a little bit of radiance on my cheek so i love this foundation it's wonderful all right that feels much better now that i have some actual foundation on my face and it looks just a little it's giving me you can see clearly that it's giving me a little bit more coverage so i i much prefer that. So the next thing that I saw interesting in the drugstore that I didn't know that Maybelline would have this is it's a boosting lash serum. And that looked brand new to me. So the claims are that it's supposed to give you fuller looking lashes in four weeks. You're supposed to use it twice a day. It's a lash conditioning formula with arginine and pro vitamin B5. It's supposed to help with less a lash fallout during makeup removal, leaves lashes looking healthy and shiny. So I'm all about trying, you know, new lash serums. So obviously with this being a first impression, it's kind of hard for me to say yes or no that it's, you know, it's going to live up to all those claims. So it's a very uh, like a sleek looking packaging and it just says to apply it on your lashes from root to tip and then let it dry uh, before you apply mascara. So while we're going to let that lash serum dry, I wanted to go in with a new eyeliner. Now they have, I'm going to say new because they have a pencil version of this now. It's the Hyper Easy Pencil. Now I have the liquid version, which I use once in a while, but I much prefer using a pencil where I can. I find just find that they're easier to work with on, on my older eyes. And this, so this one says it is a non-slip pencil, glides easy. And it, it, the only one that I could see is it uh, comes in black, which I do prefer like a, a, like a brown shade if I can find a brown shade. It just looks a little bit less harsh. So the packaging is similar to the liquid liner. And it feels very nice. Like when you, I can feel it's one of those pencils that when you hold it, it gives you some grip when you're putting the liner on. So the tip is very fine. Okay, so I like how it's it's very thin. It's not giving me, I mean, you can build it up to like a thicker line if you want, but I just like to give my lashes a little bit of a base and I'm trying to do it without pulling my eye. And it, it, is, it is actually like, going on really nicely. Usually with a eyeliner, I have to really press it on. They don't, it doesn't glide. Uh, some of them don't. <laughs> yeah, so I will say that did a nice job of uh, no, like it didn't skip, it just glided on. I'm just gonna use an angle brush just to diffuse the line a little bit more so it's not so harsh. And then extend that little wing right there. Make a little baby wing. And it is giving me time to work with it. Yeah, it just ha it looks a little softer now on this side. Uh, this side I haven't done yet. And I did use it to do a little bit of tight lining on my upper lash line there. Uh, it, there is a little bit of transfer down onto my bottom water line. So I, I'm assuming then that, that it's not waterproof because it doesn't actually say on the packaging whether it's waterproof or not. So I'm going to assume it's not. But other than that, it did a nice job of the actual lining of my eye. So now I have a couple of uh, Maybelline mascaras. There's quite a few that I like uh, from Maybelline and, and that I enjoy using. Now there's one out that I don't think, I picked it up, but I don't think I'm gonna use it today just because I think I'll use it in another video where I'm maybe using more clean products. It is the uh, Green Edition. It's supposed to be more of like a natural kind of lash, maybe leaving your lashes like a little bit more on the fluffy side. So I think I'll use this for another time. So the one I am gonna go in with today is the Maybelline, the Colossal, the Curl Bounce. So this one I really do enjoy uh, using. I did a first impression on it and it 
by the end of the night, it didn't have any smudging. There was no uh, flaking at all. A viewer of mine asked if I could uh, show curling my lashes first before I use it and see if it's going to give me any more volume. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm using my rougher uh, eyelash curler. And from what I can see, I have a bunch of viewers saying that when they go to the site to buy it, it's sold out. Hopefully they, they get more in stock because it is a really good eyelash curler. Okay, so both eyelashes are curled now. So let's see what this looks like now with curling my lashes. Plus it has that lash serum on. Yeah, I would say this is giving me a little bit more curl than the first time I used it. Okay, so what do you guys think? This is just one coat. I think that's that ha has done a really good job. And I do notice a difference between the lash serum and now curling the lash. It has given me way more curl uh, than the first time I used it. All right, so now this is with uh, two coats on. So I, I'm really liking this mascara. Like I said before, I've on one of my other videos is the Sky High, which this is actually very comparable to the Sky High. Uh, the only thing with the Sky High I find is that it does a little bit more clumping on my lashes, whereas this one, I have no clumping whatsoever with this one. So I, it's, yeah, become a, a new favorite of mine uh, for mascaras. Next, we're gonna go in with bronzer. So this is like an iconic bronzer. It's a Maybelline a City Bronzer. Again, one of my favorites. I've had it on my channel so many times. This is in the shade 200. The formulation never looks uh, like really orange or uh, like a gray, like a grayish tone to it. It is like a very true bronzer. And I use a very light hand to start off because this is very pigmented. And I sometimes can go a little bit heavy handed in the bronzer, but it just gives a nice, nice warmth to the face. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with blush. And I have these cute little, they're the cheek heat blushes. So this one is in the shade uh, Coral Ember. And then I have this one in the shade Nude Burn. So one's a nice, like a rosy shade and one is more on the orangier side. So for the look that I already have going today, I'm looking at the eyes and everything, I think I'm gonna go in with the coral uh, shade. And how I usually apply this is I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. You, and they're very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So I just basically have that much. And what I like about this one also is it doesn't lift up the powder that I have on my face so that the, the bronzer that I have is a powder. So sometimes when you put a, a cream formula on top of that, it, it sometimes can lift up the product underneath, but this one doesn't do that. And that's what it looks like when it's all kind of, when it's all blended in. And then I just take that much and I, I'm just gonna build it up. This is a great formula if you wanted to do one of those no makeup makeup days. And it just sinks into the skin. And then one thing that you can do if you want it to blend in a little bit more, like I think it has blended in really, really nice, uh, but you can use like a sponge and just give it a little bit more of a pat in there. Next is highlighter. So this highlighter is one of those ones that <laughs> you go in with a really, really light hand because if you don't, it can look like a strobe light on you. Like it's very, very pigmented. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome. Mine is very well used. It actually is broken because it's, yeah, I've used it lots. <laughs> so you can clearly see, but this has lasted me like forever. This, this highlighter is amazing uh, and I use it a lot. I have this one in the shade, a Molten Rose Gold. I do like more of like a rosier uh, shade of highlighter uh, when I can use that one. And like I said, I just dip my brush ever so slightly into it and then very light hand. Let's see, even that just, I barely have touched uh, to my cheek and <laughs> you can already see the highlighting. It's, it's amazing. This is such a, a creamy formulation. And I mean, I have been known to go a little bit heavy handed in the highlighter, I know, <laughs> but <laughs> this one, it's fantastic. And then I take some for down my nose Again, just very light and on my cupid's bow. And I take a little bit and put it right on the, to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And that just kind of brightens, brightens the area up. 
the lip liner I'm using today is the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. I have this in the shade uh, Purely Nude. Now the lipstick category was probably the toughest category that I had to choose some products because I have all sorts of Maybelline products. I'll list them over here. I have the liquid lipsticks. I have uh, like there's a, a crayon, like a lip crayon. I didn't bring them all into my room right now, but oh my goodness, I have so many Maybelline uh, products. I think they have actually some of the best drugstore lip products uh, that I personally like. I was debating whether to use these ones. So they're actually just like bullet lipsticks. One is the shade 540 uh, Peach Buff, and I have 920 Nude Lust. So one is quite a a nude shade and the other one is has more of a, like a pinkier shade to it. We'll just kind of swatch them for you. So those are the two shades right there. So I think I'm gonna go with maybe I may go with this new the nude one because I want to try one of those lifter glosses. I have a bunch of the lifter glosses as well but I bought, I bought a new shade. So I, we'll go in with this one that's called the Nude Lust. So like I said, just a really nice, like a nude shade. So the Lifter Gloss one I have, this is in the shade uh, Petal. So it's like a, it looks like a rosy uh, color. The other ones I have are more on the, on like the lighter shades. What I like about the Lifter Glosses is they have hyaluronic acid in it. And I find that it really does make my lips, uh, just give them like a nourishing feel to them. Oh, that's a very, very pretty shade. Oh my goodness. Here, I'll swatch that on the back. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's that one right there. And I like how it just gives like a, like almost like a wet look. Oh, that's a nice shade. I love that. That'll be beautiful for the springtime. As you can see, I have my, my pink background right now. I'm trying to get into the spring <laughs> mood. I have my birthday coming up pretty quick here. And then to make my brows really stay in place today, because like I said, I'm, I'm running out doing a bunch of things. So I really want them to, to stay where they are today. It's the Maybelline the Brow Fast Sculpt. So I have this in the shade Translucent, but you can get like more tinted shades if you don't want to, like how I did, I did my eyebrows first and now I'm just gonna put a clear gel on them. Uh, but the gels do have a, a tint to them. So if you just wanna quickly, if you just wanna like run out the door, quickly do your eyebrows, you can uh, do that as well by just using a tinted uh, eyebrow gel. But because I've already have did my eyebrows, I just want the Translucent shade. But this is a great one. This one really helps my la my my brows stay in place all day. And there it's not like a it doesn't they don't get like a crunchy feel to them. And then to finish off the look, everything staying in place, I'm going to use the Maybelline the Master Fix uh, setting spray. What I like about this one is it has like one of those really really great misters where it's not like going directly in your face. It disperses the the uh, spray and then I just grab my sponge and kind of set it in there. Now one product that I had sitting kind of on the side, I wasn't sure whether I was going to use it or not because I wasn't uh, completely sure how the foundation was going to work or that other, that four-in-one product was going to work. But as it turns out, I didn't have to use a powder today and some days I do, some days I don't. So this is one of those days that I, I didn't have to use when I just liked how the radiance of the foundation was looking today. But this is another great uh, drugstore powder. I know it's like a cult favorite. It's, it's like so, so popular. But this is, if you're looking for a great drugstore powder, like a loose setting powder, this one is fantastic. Like I said, it's like a, it's a loose powder. But this one is great. It doesn't ever have that really drying look, uh, especially if you have like dry skin like I do. It never makes my skin look like really dry at all. And it's like a, a lightweight formula and it leaves my skin really like natural looking. I have this one in the shade uh, Fair Light. So like I said, if you're looking for a great drugstore powder, this one is, is a fantastic one. So that is all the products applied. I hope you enjoyed this one brand makeup tutorial. Like I said, I haven't done a, a one brand in quite some time. 
I did a Maybelline uh, one right at, I'm going to say it was right at the very beginning of my channel. I did a whole Maybelline one and it's like, please don't go and see that one. So <laughs> those earlier videos are just, I'm going to say they're just awful. Let's be honest. Uh, but uh, so I was glad I was, uh, this was the first time I've done one like the Maybelline brand in probably like a couple of years at least. Uh, I've done L'Oreal. I did an Elf one. I have did a NYX one, I believe. Uh, but I enjoy doing these ones. They're fun. I like using one brand and especially when I there's new products to try out. I really enjoy that. All the products that I use today, everything will be linked and listed down below. And if you ever do use any of my affiliate links, I thank you so much for helping to support my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell right beside it and that way you're notified whenever I upload new videos. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That also helps my channel out a lot. And don't forget to leave me some comments down below. Have you guys tried some of these products? Are you planning on trying some of these products? Maybelline is one of those really good brands from the drugstore and I really enjoy using uh, some of the products. And thank you for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. I really appreciate that. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.